hello good people and welcome back to my channel um this is just a tea leaf reading that i just wanted to do um it was just what is what is coming what is to come now this may resonate with some it may come tomorrow for some it may come a month from now it may come two years from now there's not really um a time on this it's kind of like okay you see what's to come but i don't really know maybe they'll give me something once i start in the cup about reading it okay but don't forget to like share subscribe fill up that little notification bell touch her touch her roughly she likes it she likes it dirty and go to my etsy shop and get you some goodies some good stuff it's good stuff um thank you to all those who have purchased it I really appreciate you. Uh, send positive vibes to you because you are a, a blessing to me and mine. All right, let's see what we got in here. In this in this plate, I was feeling like there's something that is coming to, to an end right here. This. And when it does this, it gives me a three-month three month vibe. So maybe something that you've been dealing with, um relationship job anything like that that may be coming to an end uh maybe within three months maybe you'll be switching up something um even be could be emotional emotional distress maybe you release in some emotional distress or maybe for some you may hit a time in three months where emotional distress becomes really um the forefront of your life at that moment you know maybe some things happen that you weren't expecting to happen, maybe um, some financial um, downfall or a stock market loss, something like that is what I'm picking up on that. Um, but there is hope because I keep seeing like a star, like I keep seeing a star. I keep seeing a star. There's hope. There's a lot of hope coming in for those um, who, who want this and who are going through a tough time. If you're feeling like you've just been um, in a position where you, things have been down and you've been low and you've been broken and beaten and you can't take no more, there is hope. Hang on. You know, and I know that's just kind of hard to do sometimes, but but it's it's almost over. It's almost over for some, you know. With that star, with that being shown, that star, um, it's like it, it's still out there, you know, reach for the moon and you still land among stars or however that saying goes. And we're going to look in here. OK, so I uh, when I looked in here, I heard King of Cups. So you, there may be some emotional and like I was talking about the three months with distress and stuff. So. Um, maybe somebody's coming in to help you with these emotions. Um, maybe somebody who has mastered these emotions. Maybe you're going to talk to a, a therapist, a male therapist. Um, somebody who is emotionally stable, um, who has been through these things, um, has a, a background with dealing with those kind of things. Or maybe, you know, it may be a, a water sign. What was it Pisces, Cancer? Um, what's the other one? Scorpio? Yeah. Water sign. But I do see him handing you a cup. I do see King Cup handing somebody a cup. You know, so don't, but you may turn away from him. Like, what is that? It's the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups. So don't look a gift horse in the mouth as well. I'll be having my camera going all over the place. Sorry about that. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. So, like, I see somebody trying to give you a cup, but then you're like, you know what I mean? Like, you got these cups, but you, like, empty with the cup. But you like, I don't know about this cup. You know, but take the cup. If somebody's offering you something and somebody's offering for you and trying to help you become more mentally stable or any, quarter, any sort of stability, take it. Because it's going to help you in the long run. They might help you during this period of... Um, this period when, like I said, the three months on the plate, the three months, they may help you figure it out and, and find the best solution to go about working it. Okay. All 
Okay, so I heard tragedy, drastic change. Okay, so I'm just I'm just repeating this verbatim. Verbatim. Oh my God, oh, I can't talk right now. Okay, so there's going to be a tragedy that's going to change somebody's life drastically within the next three months. Excuse me. <clears throat> Understand that this is not for everybody. This is only for select people. So whoever, I hope that they see this. So. Okay, so this is going, this is a part of their spiritual, this is a part of their spiritual growth. Um, having this drastic change that's going to come about um, and maybe like a car accident. There's something that's, that's, that's what I'm picking up. That's just not like physical. It's like a physical, something physical that's going to change drastically with, with your circumstance. Um, so I would say be mindful of how you're driving, be mindful of the roads and what time you're going out. If you have bad vision at nighttime and you're going out and, and um, the roads are bad, this weather's been crazy, especially over where I am. And I know in Texas, they got snow. So, and I seen that car accident that happened in Texas. And so you know, just be mindful of what you're doing, of where you are around in your circumstances around you. And like I said, it's not for everybody. I do, I'm getting the, but this is now we're flipping a pregnancy, a pregnancy. I see a pregnancy. So maybe for some, there is a pregnancy coming in, which will bring new beginnings, or it could be a new beginning. Um, you know, you may be starting a new chapter in your life. But if we go back to the tragedy, that is a new beginning. That is starting over. That is probably starting somewhere new. So for somebody, maybe multiple people, there is going to be a drastic change in your life. Um, all they're telling me is that to be mindful of your surroundings, be mindful of um, who you talking to, be mindful of how you drive, be mindful of the weather. Um, they're not really saying exactly what it is that, you know, what, what's going to come about, you know, but they're just saying, be mindful, be mindful. Um, I don't have, if I can pull up, I don't know, my thing going to give me anything. I was going to pull a card, but. Hmm, little droplets of water right there. So this, if you live somewhere near water, there's a bay. There's a bay. I'm hearing bay. So somebody somewhere by the bay, by the bay where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, have you ever seen a something, something, something? If you know that down by the bay. That little nursery rhyme song. I don't know why why that came in my mind. But it's a message for somebody down by the bay. So if I guess if you live in the Bay Area, live by a bay, live by water, somewhere that is significant. So if you see this, I would take heed in this message just to keep you on the safe side. You know? So there may there may be some movement that you're not really wanting to happen. Move, bay, movement, water, waves, tides, stuff like that. Like that too, that could be a thing too. Like, you know, like I know we're past like hurricane season and stuff like that, but maybe that's that's coming in September. Like I know like September's like this big hot bed of energy that's coming. There's like something big is happening in September. So I would be mindful of what, of if you live in the Bay Area, just have your ducks in a row. Be safe. Take precaution. Um, yeah, this this kind of went. I just, you know, allow spirit to guide me on this one because it just kind of went everywhere. But <laughs> I'm going to end it there.
So y'all have a good night. Um, I hope this resonates with you. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, you can find them on my Etsy shop. I will put the link in the description box. Have a good night. Be safe. Love you.